High dynamic range still photography has become ubiquitous. Smartphone cameras, which have become the world's most popular cameras, often include an HDR shooting mode in their native camera apps. These typically use temporal multiplexing, acquiring multiple exposures in sequence, then combining them in software to resolve differences due to motion. As you can see, the results are reasonable for static scenes, and considerable work has been done for handling dynamic scenes. However, using temporal multiplexing to acquire HDR video has been less successful. The method of Kang et al. relies on optical flow to provide temporal continuity, but it isn't robust to failures of the optical flow near motion boundaries, producing tearing artifacts. Patch-based methods can produce still images that look good in isolation, but they can't be directly applied to video because of temporal continuity. In this work, we propose a temporally coherent patch-based optimization algorithm for high dynamic range video. We show how optical flow can be utilized in a patch-based method to achieve motion smoothness, providing robustness to failures of optical flow in areas of fast motion and occlusions. There are numerous ways to use optical flow in a patch-based method, and it isn't obvious a priori how to do so effectively. Constraining patch searches to a fixed size window around the flow results doesn't work, since no one window size works for all regions. We address this problem by producing spatially varying search maps that constrain the patch optimization differently across the image. Because it combines components of patch-based and flow-based algorithms, our method robustly handles complex, non-rigid scene motions with good temporal coherency. Where the optical flow fails, artifacts are confined to very small regions close to motion boundaries. In these regions, masking effects in the human visual system make such artifacts very difficult to detect in moving video. Our method consists of three main components. First, initial motion is estimated using a homography for global motion and optical flow for residual local motion. Second, using the initial motion estimate, we estimate local search windows for every offset. These are computed as the smallest patch search window centered on the motion estimate that contains some good match. Third, the local search windows are used in a patch-based optimization similar to Senadol which simultaneously optimizes for the missing input frames and their merged HDR representation. Here we compare our results side by side with the recent method by Mangiat and Gibson. Their approach uses block-based matching for motion estimation, and thus it can suffer from blocky artifacts resembling MPEG compression. However, in this case note that both results were compressed using the same codec and settings, so the visible differences between the two are solely from the difference in reconstruction algorithm. In conclusion, we have presented a robust patch-based method for time-multiplexed HDR video reconstruction, using optical flow to guide search regions.